What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Man Made of Thoughts. I actually have had all the Superman up in the skies, <laughs> but um, I actually did review them when they came out, but I just couldn't get the audio right on these videos. And uh, what ended up happening was they just had no audio. It was just all video. So that discouraged me a lot. I'm not even going to lie. But anyway, this is Superman Up in the Sky number four by Tom King and uh, Andy Kubert. Andy Kubert's one of those guys where I kind of like his art and then I kind of don't, but then I kind of do again. Because it has to fit. Like there's some times where he just his art just doesn't fit and then there's times where it does fit. And this story, I was trying to fit it together chronologically because the Walmart comics came out uh, at a time, but at the same time, the time that they came out, Superman had a son and he was being reintroduced to uh, the DC universe, the Superman from these comics right here. So I wasn't quite sure because he doesn't wear these in Rebirth. He has a new suit, but he would have at the time that it came out. So it's really weird because he doesn't have a son or anything, but he is with Lois. Scratch all that out, though. It doesn't matter because Superman up in the sky. Number four is good. The first one is pretty much just Superman racing Flash. And uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, what Tom King did here was he allowed Andy Kubert to catch his breath. <laughs> Because it's literally just still images. Um, you know, it, they're good still images because it's like saying, we know you can, we, like, we got some tight deadlines here, buddy. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you just go crazy and I'll just keep making a page full of speech bubbles or captions. And the captions will tell the story. And that way you could just draw one picture and you could focus all your art juices on some other project because they're not bad pictures. But basically, the idea here is that Superman uh, is racing the Flash and he's doing it to get answers because a girl was kidnapped and taken into space by some dude. <laughs> and nobody knows where she went. But Superman goes through these trials to figure out... Um, you know, where, what happened to this girl and every trial that he does, that he successfully completes, he, you know, gets another clue so he can go find this girl. Uh, it's a very messianic in that scene, in that really, uh, I can't talk. It's, it's very messianic in that sense where, uh, I know Christian, um, uh, mythology is that, uh, Jesus, the Messiah, he will leave the 100 or he will, he will leave the 99 and go searching for the one, um, the one lost sheep, the one lost person. And despite everybody else saying this is a horrible idea, he's going to do it anyway, because that's the nature of Superman. He's really the greatest hero of them all. So, you know, eventually uh, what ends up happening is that they're running around the world. They're racing. And I'm thinking, man, Superman can't beat the Flash. I know it's Superman's story, but at the same time, that's kind of the Flash's thing. Like, you know, he's, he's the fastest man alive, and his power's not even really running fast. It's molecular manipulation. <laughs> so, you know, a guy who can run really fast, if you can beat them at their own game, that's kind of not fair, you know? Because <laughs> you've already got super everything, super hearing, um, you know, ice breath, you can fly really fast. You can fly. You know, you have uh, x-ray vision. You have heat vision, um, super strength. And you're like a battery that can like get powered up by somebody else's sun because your planet had a red sun. So you didn't even have powers on your own planet. So it's, it's kind of unfair, you know. <laughs> but that's what makes it charming because Superman is literally losing. It's not a close race. It's not. Superman's literally getting dragged, and so what happens is Lex Luthor, because he, you know, being evil and everything, and being uh, Superman's foil, 
he plans to, uh, a really, really big bet. I think it's something like uh, like a billion dollars or something like that. Yeah, a billion dollars. And so if Superman loses, then he stands to make a billion dollars. But because Superman hears him with his super hearing, because there are certain people that he just... Uh, I'm going to skip a couple of pages. There are certain people that he just uh, keeps a tune on. Like what his dad, Lois Lane, uh, his mom, uh, and Lex Luthor. So he hears them in secret so he can like, you know, he's like, oh man. I'm... He wants to give up, but he heard what Lex Luthor was doing. So now it added that extra stress of having to have to beat the Flash because he knew he'd be letting people down even more if he gave up and if he quit. So really, really good stuff. But anyway, he beats them. It's like a narrow margin, but it's because Superman just won't quit. We've already established that in, in uh, issue number two, that he just won't quit. Like, Mido decided to give up because he knew that Superman wasn't going to quit. Like, he had to agree to the boxing match. The boxing match, no superpowers. It was just blow for blow. And the guy was giving it to Superman. He was handing it to him. But he was like, I, I got to quit because at the end of the day, like, this guy is not going to stop. And I don't have that much energy to keep on fighting a guy who won't stop. So, so that's the thing about Superman. He just won't give up. And that's what I like. I like my heroes tenacious and scrappy. And Superman is very tenacious. He, you just, you might think you have him, but he's going to keep coming back. You have to kill him. And even then, he'll come back anyway through Deus Ex Machina. But that's another story. Anyway, like all these uh, Tale of Superman stories, um, then we get this one, which I really, really, really like. Basically, it's Clark Kent and Superman get separated from each other. And Superman, you know, being the more scientific and logical version of, of himself, he's like, um, you know, just, just the logic of everything. And whereas Clark Kent is the more human and uh, rational version. Um, well, I'd say more like, not really rational, but more like uh, emotive. Like he, he has emotions. He thinks with his heart and his feelings and stuff. He does the right thing. And whereas Superman, Kal-El, is based more on science and fact. So this line of dialogue here, I think is pretty good. I will take a day to settle you here with food, water, shelter. Enough that you will live until you are found. I will inform the Green Lantern Corps of your whereabouts. Then I will return to Earth. <laughs> and Clark's just like, what? And so he goes, uh, Superman goes and kills, well, kal -El, I should say, goes and kills a beast just so Clark can eat because, you know, their survival is dependent on each other. Um, and Superman's just like, I've done everything. Like, I've built you a cave. And I've stored you meat there. At this temperature, it will last long enough. Make sure you stay in this location. It will help with the rescue party. Is there anything else you need before I go? And he's still asking about Alice. That's the little girl's name who was taken. And um, Superman's just like, look, I can't find Alice. But you need to come back to Earth with me. We need to give up because what you're doing is kind of like a suicide mission. We have other things more pressing. We have people we know are in trouble, and you're out here gallivanting around the universe for one person. And Clark's just like, look, man, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to find that girl. I've heard everything that you've said. You've been trying to talk me out of this for the longest time, but guess what? Sometimes things just defy logic. Some things don't make any sense, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do the, the thing that's right, not the thing that makes the most sense. The most sense would be going back to Earth and forgetting about the little girl because the needs of many are supposed to outweigh the needs of one. But to Superman, every life is important. So technically, she is part of the many because she let she disappeared from the planet that he is in charge of protecting. It's a really cool meta story inside of a story, you know. And like I said before in other videos, the great man theory, that one person can inspire everybody else to do the right thing. 
as long as they're doing the right thing. It works for Disney movies and stuff, but I've rarely ever seen the one person just show up and pick up trash like on TV and then uh, everybody else just does a slow clap into them. <laughs> and then everybody's like, yeah, yeah, he picked up trash. I'm going to do it too. That's what TV would have you think, but that's not exactly how humanity works. <laughs> but um, that's a very, very good issue. I highly recommend Superman Up in the Sky. Um, you know, it's just a good series, especially because uh, if you know what Tom King was famous for, uh, besides being fired off of Batman, he is a good writer. He's a good writer when he wants to be. So I don't understand why he writes these manly lines of dialogue, but with Batman, he just... Well, you know what? Everybody wants to leave their mark on a character, and deconstruction is one of the ways that a lot of writers seem to do. They're like, oh, what's cool about this guy? How can I make him not that? And they just go ahead and start writing off some crazy stuff. If it was me, I'd have just wrote a crazy story called Tales of the Batman. That way you can write all the nonsensical stuff that you want to write, because it has no reason to be canon, because it won't be. But uh, anyway... If you guys like uh, this, there's the Walmart comic. I don't know if they'll actually release this um, in another collected form, but uh, I would buy it. I I have all the single issues, but I would still buy this again, and I would still I would submit this to some kind of uh, artistic study program because it actually is really good. You can have a lot of good conversations with people about this. You might even be able to introduce them to uh, religion from this because it really is good writing it's really good art with really good writing but anyway that's the video uh like share comment subscribe let me know what you think about the series or how you feel about superman or brian michael bendis or whatever anyway thank you for watching peace out